Hey dancers, do you have trouble figuring out how to open your shoulders when you get that correction about shoulder placement? Well, I have a simple exercise that's gonna help you figure out how to have more flexibility in the upper back without using any weights, bands, or tricks. What we're gonna do is start down on the floor, like Madison is, on our hands and knees. You're gonna lower yourself down to one elbow and you're gonna push your hips backwards towards your heels so you're kind of sitting in. Go ahead and let your elbow come with you underneath you and you can sit back even farther. We can play with this placement in just a second. So go ahead and find, yeah, pull the elbow underneath here and let's bring this hand to her neck. Now she's gonna let her elbow collapse all the way down towards the floor. And all we're gonna do is separate our two elbows apart from each other. So she's gonna scoop that right elbow open up towards you, pushing herself away from her bottom elbow and then lowering back down to the beginning. She's gonna repeat this. She's really pushing out of her bottom side here and trying to open and show her collarbones while she pulls her elbows apart. Look what happens if she loses the tension when she's push, uh, pushing through the floor. If she sinks in this shoulder, ugh, we can't go very far. It's sinking on here. It's kind of painful through the back and top of the shoulder. The push through the floor is really important as we go through this. Now, this is about upper back uh, T-spine mobility. This is really, really important that we make the work happen here not down here. Sometimes this exercise can be done on your knees, which is not wrong, but let me tell you why I do it here. If she shifts forward onto her knees and does this and lets her low back become part of it. So as she goes, even if she pushes the floor, can you see this bend right here that's happening? Uh, this has now put the work down into her lumbar instead of up here in her thoracic. So my easy correction for this is just shift your hips back towards child's pose, and now you will have focus here. If you wanna challenge yourself to keep the stability later on, you can, but honestly, my most advanced dancers can still feel a nice stretch when they do it here on your elbow. So as we do it, we're creating a yawning feeling, a big opening through the collarbone, shoulders are sinking down, she's getting a big twist, and then lowering back down to her elbows. This is gonna assist with changing the position and mobility of your spine. Go ahead and come up. So one of the uh, common mistakes I see when we're looking at changing the position of our shoulders when we're doing our uh, port bras is that we think, oh, I have to pull my shoulders back, not change my spine position. So there's a little mix of both that have to happen. But if you are somebody that only thinks about pulling your shoulders back, you're gonna feel some restriction here your chin is gonna jet forward, and we have not changed the main part of us, which is our spine. Most of us, if you're getting this correction, have to change our spinal position, have to change the thoracic spine. So this exercise is gonna help you activate, stretch, engage the upper part of the back so that you can change from the center of your body, not just the shoulders rolling in and out. So there are more tips here on YouTube about your posture, your placement, anything having to do with your dancing through your body. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the little bell button so you get every notification on when new videos come out just like these. Uh, you can find more information about my privates, my online courses, and the work that I do with dancers and teachers at AlignFitnessByAllie.com. And I'll see you all right back here for our next video.